Hi guys, thanks for watching my channel. Those who are not subscribed my channel, please subscribe MacTech360. Uh, please share your friends and colleagues. Uh, this video is mainly for the freshers, those who are uh, new to the welding inspection field. Uh, it's very useful. Uh, in this video, I will discuss about this uh, welding inspections for uh, duplex stainless steel. All of you heard about the stainless steel. But uh, duplex stainless steel, it is a rare material they are using for this uh, oil and refinery industries for construction field. They are using uh, this uh, type of material uh, for uh, cryogenic purpose. Uh, some, they are using this uh, material. Basically, duplex stainless steel is the proportions, equal proportions of ferritic stainless steel and austenitic stainless steel. Austenitic stainless steel is the, all of you know 316, 304, 321 and are all uh, austenitic stainless steel. Uh, so uh, in this duplex stainless steel there will be some welding requirements and inspections. Some additional requirements are there during the inspection. Uh, in this video I will share some uh, what are the inspection points we have to do during the welding inspection. Uh, of the duplex stainless steel after and before welding inspection of this uh, duplex stainless steel. We will discuss about these points. First one we have to check the fit up. Uh, the fit up should be properly done. Uh, as per the WPS what are the root gap joint configuration given that should be you have to follow. Then second one is the uh, purging. Before start of this welding we have to check the purging. If it is uh, uh, duplex stainless steel we have to uh, it's a purging monitor we have to uh, check the inside organ gas how much percentage it will be have 0 0.05 percentage it will be have means we have to start the welding uh, once it will be started the welding uh, we have to check the route as a QC inspector we have to check the route if it is uh, once it is closing, before closing the point, we have to just check the root penetration is uh, good or not. We have to check. Uh, and we have to uh, continually, the uh, welding is done, the root uh, finished, then we have to cool down and make it penetration testing. PTEs, we have to do for the root welding. Uh, if there is no defect and all, we have to uh, there is no defect there will be uh, without defect welding is find out by using the penetration testing then we will uh, go for this hot pass uh, basically purging will be we have to continue up to 10 mm of the weld deposition or uh, two pass minimum two pass that will be uh, mentioned in this aramco standard so we have to follow this standard or otherwise the project procedure is there we have to follow how uh, how much well deposition we have to uh, continue the purging then we have to continue the welding uh, we have to check the heat input that is very important because the distortion of this uh, stainless steel or duplex stainless steel material is uh, very more so thermal conductivity is very more so uh, there will be a possibility of uh, distortion so we have to control the heat input as per the WBC we have to check the parameters building parameters current voltage and travel speed you have to check and the heat input maximum value they are given in this wps so uh, don't uh, make uh, the if you check practically that value uh, does not exceed the limit of this uh, wps it is mentioned as a maximum value so keep it in mind that one then after the finishing of this final welding uh, we have we should check this uh, dimension as a distortion will be happened or not if the flange connection is there uh, that uh, tilt how much uh, mm that is a tolerance value we have to check then visual inspection we have to uh, do um, then afterwards there will be a hundred percentage radiography will be there so uh, make sure that is root side we have to check there will be any oxidation is there excess penetration is there uh, these are all the discolorization in the root that are all you have to uh, check uh, everything uh, before uh, before offer to this radiography we have to visually we have to done all the things uh, thank you